Okay, for this project, you're going to be creating a car. It's going to be using all the skills that you've already learnt and some new ones as well. Now, here's an example of a finished car. Yours probably won't be as detailed as this, but if you were to keep refining it and keep using your skills, there's no reason why you couldn't make yours look like this. So to get started, I want a brand new Blender file. So start with the cube and I'm going to go straight into edit mode and face mode. Now I want to select the underside of the cube and just lift it up to make it into a flatter shape. Now I'm going to extrude the two sides of the car, the front and the back. So I'm going to tap E, move the mouse and click, repeat on the other side, tap E, move the mouse and click. And now what I want to do is uh, I want to get the front and back of the car to be sloped. So if I select the face in the middle and just lift it, because they're connected to it, they will slope like that. Now the next step is to tap E and extrude the top of the car. And I'm going to tap S and scale in. Little tip here, if you're going to scale, move your mouse away from the orange dot before you start. Just makes it easier. So something like that is fine. Now we're going to create some very basic wheel arches. So to do this, it's going to involve using some new skills. And we are looking for the loop cut and slide. By the way, if you didn't know, you can expand these panels. So we're looking for loop cut and slide. And now the way this works, you hover your mouse over a face that you want to slice. And you'll see it. it's highlighting where the slice is going to be. And if you scroll the wheel on your mouse, you can choose how many slices. So I actually want four here. So you click once, then you get the opportunity to slide, which is why it's called loop, cut and slide. Uh, I actually want it to be right in the middle, so I'm just going to put it there. And I'm going to repeat that on the other side. One, two, three, four, right in the middle. Now, because loop, cut and slide adds edges, it always puts you into edge mode when you're done. So I'm going to put it back into face mode. I need to look underneath the car and I want to select that face there and just lift it up. And the same thing on this side, just lift it up like that. Now I know that this looks kind of boxy at the moment. It's not a great archway, but we'll be improving that a little bit later on. Okay, we're gonna add some detail to the front of the car now. So loop, cut and slide once more, this time two slices right in the middle. Back to face mode. I'm gonna right click to select that face there, hold down the shift key and that allows me to multiple select. This works in most programs. So now I can also select those two, tap E and extrude all three at the same time. All right, now I want to create more of a slope here. So I'm gonna switch into edge mode so that I can individually grab and move, not extrude, just move the different edges. I might pull that one back just a little bit. And this one, bring it down a little bit, try and make more of a gradual slope like that. I think that'll do. Okay, let's do the spoiler. So the spoiler of the car goes right on the back. Um, and to create that, we're gonna start by just putting one more loop cut in. So I'm gonna go to loop cut and slide right onto the end, just there. Into face mode, select the face on the end. And we're gonna create this just by using extrude. So I wanna start by extruding up a little bit and then again. And now I want to extrude this side across and again. And you guessed it, repeat on the other side. So extrude that across and again, just like that. Now to sweep that whole section back to make it kind of look a little cooler than it does at the moment, I'm gonna use that multiple select again. So right click, hold shift, right click all the way along. And if I just grab those faces with the arrow and pull, you see that all of them get pulled back like that. And then I might add one more little bit of detail. I'm going to get these two, multiple select, extrude both of them up and pull both of them back like that. Feel free to be creative with that bit, do whatever you like, but that's kind of what we're aiming for. Okay, now we're going to do the windows. So to create the windows, I'm going to right click, hold shift and then right click. So I've got all three selected and we're going to use the inset tool that we learned about. So you tap I. Again, it's a good idea to move your mouse away 
from the orange dot. So tap I, move the mouse, and we're looking to create a frame, something like that would be fine. And then once you've made it, we're going to use E to extrude, and not out, but in. Just push it in, not too much, just a little bit like that. Spin it around and repeat on the back. So make sure that you don't hold shift at this point because what you don't want to do is this. I've now got all six selected. So if I tapped I now, it would inset all of them. So you need to make sure you right click first of all to select just one face, very common mistake. Hold shift. So I've got a completely fresh selection of just these three. Tap I, about the same size like that and extrude it inwards like that. Now. For the sides, I first of all need to create a door. So I'm going to use that loop cut and slide again. And this time I'm actually going to use the slide bit. So I'm going to click and then slide the line back to about there. Back into face mode. And you'll see that I've now got these two faces. But I, I, want, I don't want these to be inserted together like this. I don't want one big frame. I want the two windows to have their individual frames to be inset separately. So there are two ways to do this. One is to do them individually, like this. So I could do one, and then right click this one and repeat the process. And that's absolutely fine, but there's a better way. So if you start with both of them selected, neat little trick here, if you tap I once, it goes into insert mode. If you tap I again, it goes into individual insert mode. So all your selected faces get inset individually. So now I can insert those. I can tap E to extrude and push the in just a little bit spin round, right click for a new selection, hold shift, right click, tap I twice, and then extrude in, like that. Uh, and we've got something that's kind of looking like a car now. It's still rather boxy though. Something we can do at this stage, just to help take off all of these hard edges, if we head over to the modifiers panel, which you used when you were doing the golden goblet, we're going to, if you can't see the, um, modifies spanner tool here by the way. You can expand this panel so that you can see it. Click the modifier tool and we're looking for this one, bevel. Not subdivision surface which will make it go bleh, like that. I'm just going to get rid of that. Choose bevel and to be honest you can just leave the settings as they are. You can see it's just taken off that very very hard edge right there. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, remember I said we were going to neaten up these wheel arches? Let's do that now. So I'm going to do this using loop cut and slide. Whenever you want more detail in your model, it means you need more faces. It's as simple as that. More faces gives you more potential to add detail. So I'm going to go to loop cut and slide and I'm going to create a cut down the center of each of these faces like that and a little tip here, there's a shortcut for the in, for uh, loop cut and slide, it's control, not command, control R, and I can go click there, control R, click there, control R, click there. So now I've got all these extra edges, these faces have all been divided up, and what we're going to do here, watch very carefully, I need to get that edge, notice I'm staying in edge mode here, not face mode, Hold shift and get that one and that one. Now I want to get that one and that one and that one. So I've got all six of those, but wait, I also want these ones. So I'm going to keep holding shift. That one, that one, and that one, that one, that one, and that one. So with all of those selected, I'm just going to use the blue arrow and lift them all up just to the point where I get a more pleasing arch effect like that. And you could even, new selection, get all three of those hold shift, get all three of those, and just a tiny, tiny amount, just like that, just to get the tiniest little arch at the top. There we go, much neater. But it still looks kind of boxy, doesn't it? So I want to add some more detail so we can kind of round out the shape of the car all the way around. So again, loop, cut and slide. Yes, we use it a lot. Scroll the wheel up, I want two this time, all the way around the car. Now that I've done that, I can go into face mode. I can right click for a new selection, hold shift and get all three of those and just use the arrow to push them out like that. And that has rounded out the front of the car. And you guessed it, I'm gonna repeat it on the back. Right click for a new selection, hold shift. There we go, and not extrude, just pull like that. And yeah, if you wanted to do that all the way along here, 
you could do that as well. So I'm just holding shift at this point. This takes a little while. All the way along. Make sure we don't miss any. Like that. And then use the arrow and just pull like that. Not too much. And repeat this side. So new selection, hold shift. And all the way along. Click, click, click. In case you're wondering, there is a shortcut to do this kind of selecting. Maybe another video. Okay, so let's use that red arrow and just pull it that way. Look from the back so I can see I've got it about the same, which I have. And there we go. That's the basic shape of the car done. Now, if you want to make it a little, make it look a bit cooler, we could also do some work on the very bottom of the car. So I'm going to go into edge mode and I'm just going to select all of those edges like that and use the green arrow just to pull that forward. Kind of create like a bit of a body kit like you get on street cars. And yeah, I could repeat that process all the way along here. So a new selection, hold shift, get all of these edges. Oops, now look, I accidentally selected that edge in the background. Now one great thing about um, Blender is that if you undo Command Z, you can actually undo through selections as well. So undo, fantastic. So back to holding shift, right click, right click, all the way around. Be very careful that you don't miss any because you'll end up with a weird shape in your car. That's it, that's all of those selected and I can just pull that out like that. And then finally repeat on this side, so new selection, hold shift, and then all the way along. Spin the view around, make life a little bit easier. That one, that one, that one, there, 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 and there. And then I'm going from this view just so I can try and match them up. I think they look about the same. There we go. Cool. And then finally we'll do the back. So right click, hold shift, get all three of those and just pull like that. All right. So at this stage, you've got your basic car. In the next video, we'll look at how you can add a bit more detail to it. So some door handles, some lights at the front, and then we'll look at how to do the wheels.